not just the building the software, it's the maintaining it that's incredibly um, costly. That is a full-time job for a full-time company to just be solely... For the individual broker, you've got a lot of heavyweight technology and solutions now that are being rolled out and adopted uh, at the top of the house, almost top-down. Uh, with the CIOs, CTOs, CEOs of these big uh, brokerage firms. So I've seen myriad different brokers have these Excel sheets that are color-coded and sort of uh, very specifically formatted that they've curated literally in some cases over a decade or two. And that's their tech stack, right? That's their tech solution. That's healthy, that's good because that's sort of the uh, analog version of what others can build digitally. And if you're a broker, you don't want your full-time job to be software development or building this. You want your full-time job to be interacting with your existing clients, looking for new clients. Let the machines do what the people shouldn't be wasting their time on. That's collecting the data, whether it's publicly filed data at the local tax assessor or land records division, secretary of state, whether it's uh, title company data, credit rating agency data. If you think about all those companies uh, that sort of came early on, it's almost a one-directional flow of data from them to you as the broker. Now there's this sort of paradigm shift where brokers are realizing they're actually the curators and the owners of a whole lot of valuable data, but it's not as valuable as it could or should be because it hasn't been harnessed and, and, and cleansed and normalized. And, and so that's what we're seeing. That's what we're focused on as well. And that's what I would say is the next gen sort of 2.0 version or 3.0 version of, of the space.